now going to take you through our Thai salad base, which you're going to get the option of chicken or shrimp on top. So for the salad base, we have our Mexican mix and our cost mix into the mixing bag. We then add our cilantro lime dressing. We also add our diced tomatoes, chopped green onions. We then have some cucumber, which has been skinned and de-seeded and then sliced into crescent shapes. We also have our cooked noodles, which is our new prep item. We then have thinly sliced red peppers. Then all we're going to do is we're going to mix this all together again. So we've got a good mixture of all the salad leaves, all the salad ingredients, the dressings right the way through the salad. Again, we're going to build this, making sure we get plenty of height. And then to garnish this salad, we have some one mil sliced red chilies. We have our chopped coriander, which again goes all over the presentation. A lime wedge right in the very centre at the top. And then we have chili flakes and toasted sesame seeds. I'm just going to shake those all over the salad. And that's the Thai salad base ready for its chicken or shrimp option. We're now going to go through the fajita salad base option. Again, with this one, you get the choice of blackened chicken or blackened steak as your topping. So in the salad base, we have our Mexican mix, our cost lettuce, our iceberg lettuce, and some shredded red cabbage. To that, we're going to add some grated Kobe cheese. We're going to add our pico de gallo. We're going to add the cooked flour tortillas. We're also going to add the guacamole ranch dressing. We're going to combine this all together and mix it in the bag. So again, work it around really well. Make sure we've got a nice even coating on all the leaves. Build the presentation to our chilled salad bowls. Making sure there's plenty of height. Then to garnish, we have some more pico de gallo. And again, the lime wedge. Place a chilled fork on the salad, and that's ready to be served. Again, with this one, you get the choice of blackened chicken or blackened steak as your topping. We've now got the Philly steak sandwich. We're going to take our FJ veg from before with the garlic butter and parsley. We're going to fire that in the microwave for a minute. Whilst that's cooking, we're going to add our shaved rope to our pan. We start building the sandwich. We've got a toasted chia batter with two slices of Kobe cheese. We just layer on the meat and add our vegetables on the top. Cut the sandwich at a 45 degree angle. And we open it out to our guests. So 
we're going to do our twice baked potato skins. Season the potato skins. Mashed potato. So we've got our new 16 ounce T-bone steak, which is oiled with 15 mils of vegetable oil and one gram of four to one seasoning each side. We put that onto the grill at a 45 degree angle to the bars. T-bone steak that's served in a large oven skillet. The steak goes to the left with the fillet facing in. We then add our choice of sides. Here we show you the twice cooked potato skins, the maison butter and the fresh vegetables. Hi, and thanks for taking the time out and watching the training DVD. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember to focus on these three things every time you're in a TGI's kitchen. The first one is make sure we serve food safe food. The second one is 100% recipe deals. And the third thing is to focus on quality. Thanks very much.